Hey, shalom, shalom, shalom. Hey, first and foremost, I would love to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakak with us. Uh, double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone that taught us this truth. You know, blessings and safety to the elect, man. All right. And um, this is going to be a quick hit. You know, I'm on my way to the plantation. All right. And, um, you know, I was meditating on on how, you know, pride is going to increase. And um, but I came across an article dealing with the, the pride march. June 1st here in Cleveland, man. You know, and I was just thinking like, damn, you know, we're, you know, the Lord is visiting the earth, man. You know, with man's judgment, you know. But their pride is going to still continue. And in, in all actuality, you know, their pride is going to increase, okay? Because, hey, man, I'm talking about they, okay? We all we all know that Esau is a proud, you know, he's a proud devil, man. We know that, you know? But, you know, Jake, man, Jake has took, the old, took on that pride. And then, you, you know... You look at Jake, man, and you be like, damn, you know, Jake Jake put the damn P in pride, man. You know, and ultimately, you know, the Lord is going to uh, pretty much unleash all hell on, on, on these people, man. You know, due to their pride, you know. But this is Proverbs 16 and uh, 5, and I'm going to jump down. It says, um, you know, everyone that is proud in heart is an abomination to the Lord. It says, though hand join hand. He shall not be unpunished, man. Okay? And um, you know, you know, here it is, man. Like I said, man, we know that Esau is one of the most uh, you know, pride pridefulest, you know, creations that the Lord uh have created, man. Okay, but you know, you know, uh Jake have adopted that mindset, man. You know? And you know, a lot of our people, you know, they're they're, you know, joined you know, hand in hand with E, man, okay? And when E goes down, you Jakes are going to go down with him, okay? Because, hey, man, you, you, you're not just going to, you know, live this prideful life, man, you know, uh, striving against most the, the most high, man, and, and then, you know, when Esau goes down, you're just going to jump over, you know, that pit as well, man. No, you know, you, you join hand in hand with this devil. You have adopted the, the, the mindset of this devil, okay? Guess what? You're going to receive that same uh, uh, destruction, man. Okay, that same judgment, man. Okay, you know, on this side, you know, because hey, Jake is gonna, you know, get it right in the kingdom, okay, and live forever, man. But on this side, you're gonna uh, receive that that same judgment, man. Okay, and um, I'm gonna just jump down, man. Uh, this is Proverbs 16 and 18. It says, "Pride goeth before destruction." And a haughty spirit before it fall, man. Okay, and we know that we are living in the time of 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 their of their fall. Okay, you know Esau, Edom. Okay, the rest of these nations. Okay, and is it you, Jake's out there, man? Especially the damn nigga woman, man. Okay, because every everyone is displaying pride, man. The Lord hates pride, man. Let's go into this word pride, man, which no one has nothing to be proud about, man. Okay. It says a feeling of deep pleasure or satisfaction derived from one's own achievements, man. Okay? And that's what people don't understand, man. You didn't achieve anything. Okay? Esau, this kingdom was given to you, man. Okay? The Israelites were, were given in your hand, man, because of our iniquities and transgressions, man. The world was given unto you, man. Hey, the scriptures say that the world is... uh. Given unto the hand of the wicked. The Lord gave you over everything, man. He allowed you to spoil us, man. He, he, he allowed you to push your wickedness throughout the four corners of the earth, man. So that he could bring you down. You know? But this is what Esau, you know, he doesn't understand, man. And this is what, you know, you Jake's out there don't understand, man. You know, you're living this life, okay? You, 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 you know? You, you used to see in, in Babylon, man, and you just think it's it's because of you, man. And that's where that pride come in at. You know, you get the feeling yourself, you know. You got women, you know, at, at, at the top of the food chain in society, man. Okay? 
And they think that they work their way up to this, you know, corporate position or, you know, they work their way up to becoming a millionaire and, you know, things like that. All these uh, carnal possessions, man. Okay. But the most high, the Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah, allowed you to do this, man. He he, he gave this, these things to you, man. You know, and that's why, you, you know, you got to thank the Lord, man. You know, when Jake say, you know, they want to thank the Lord, it'd be full of shit, man. You know, I would like to thank God. Well, guess what, man? You know, their God is Satan, man. Their God is the devil, you know? It's a lot, yeah. I see the fucking police. Damn, police, man. It's be parked, parking in jobs and shit, man. You know? Oh, fuck these devils, man. Damn, everywhere, man. Sitting around wasting. Hey, Slocky, I don't want to digress. But, you know, that, that pride, man. You know, that pride that everyone's uh, displaying, man. Yeah, I'm going to keep reading on this, man. All right? It says, uh, one's own achievements, the achievement of those with whom one is closely associated with or qualities or possessions that are widely admired, you know? And that's when that pride kicks in, man. Well, like I said, no one has, you know, anything to be proud about, okay? Because your about Shimmy Awa Shah is the reason for everything, man, okay? And when you understand that, you, you know, you don't become prideful, you know? You know, but guess what, man? Okay, so I'm going to read this back. Uh, Proverbs 16 and 18, pride goeth before destruction, okay? And we're, and we're about to witness, you know, pride is about to increase, man. To the point where this devil is gonna, hey, he's gonna his M A his M A R K man, okay, he's about to literally, you know, you know, put that underneath the the, the flesh of the Lord's sons and daughters, man, okay. You no, know, he believes he's God, man. He he wants to do away with the Most High, man. He wants to do away with the natural. He wants to do away with the 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 the, the natural way of life, man. And he wants to substitute it. With fucking uh, technology, man. He wants to do away with the natural way, and he wants to substitute that with the with the damn uh, artificial way, man. That's pride, man. He's want to, he, like I said, he want to put his M A R K under the flesh of the Lord's sons and daughters, man. Okay. Which is the one of the most profitable things he can do. Okay, but this is how you know his fall is right before him. Okay. We're going to witness our people be, you know, proud as hell. Our women, hey, some of our women, man. They're going to they're gonna do some shit that you be like, God, this is this ain't pride, man. And that's why the scriptures say, marvel not if she trespass against you. All right? These people are about to display their pride, man, on, a, on, a, on another level, man, okay? But guess what, man? This is how you know... Their, their fall is right before them. It says, pride goeth before destruction and a haughty spirit before a fall, man. Okay? And we're living in the time of their fall, man. All right? And I'm going to, uh, you know, close with this precept. All right? This is uh, 2 Ezra 8 and 50. It says, for many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter time shall dwell in the world because they have walked in great pride, man. So these miseries are coming, man. They're coming, man. The plagues, man. You know, cannibalism. Okay? Starvation, man. Okay? Wild beasts, man. You know, sicknesses, man. Plagues, man. Okay? Those missiles, you know. Hey, concentration camps. The sword, man. Okay? It's about to happen, man. And the Lord is going to use those things to destroy you, to destroy you people, man. Okay? There's no making it out of this, man. Okay? So, you know, Lord willing, you know, this was edifying. And when I say there, there, there's no making it out of out of this, man. If, 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 you, if you're not, if you're not, you know, marked. 
uh, uh, if you're not uh, given that 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 mark of exemption, man, uh, spoke about in uh, Ezekiel the ninth chapter, man. Okay, there's no there's no making it out of this, man. If you're not a part of if you're if you're not a part of the elect, there's no making it out of this, man. Okay, no no, no making it out of this, man. Okay. So, you know, Lord willing, this was edifying. I'm going to end giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh, Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakah, Kodash. Till next time, Shalom.